Hi, I'm Priscilla. Hi, I'm Dustin. And we are with DPI Adventures. We are here today to talk about the food on MSC Seashore. So there's three types of dining on the MSC Seashore. There is the buffet, there is the main dining, and then there's also the specialty dining. And we are gonna be discussing all three, what we liked about it, what we didn't like about it, So the Marketplace Cafe was relatively clean. There was hand washing stations, um, washy usually, washy. Wash, washy washy, usually around the um, main entrance doors. So we always went, washed our hands, there was soap water and napkin there for you. And there was also hand um, sanitizing station. So definitely before you touch anything, washy washy. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to talk about is breakfast. Let's start dissecting the breakfast. What was your experience with uh, MSC Seashore breakfast? I loved it. So we were on for um, four nights, five days, and we ate breakfast, obviously, you know, four different times. Um, each day, there was something new. Um, they had, you know, their basics of eggs, um, bacon, sausage, um, potatoes, but then their varieties outside of that was massive. I don't think I got um, the same thing twice. What no, did you? I got different items also. And a few other things I happened to notice that they had also, they had like yogurts, they had some granolas, they had lots of fresh fruit to choose from. And then I also noticed they had some of their charcuterie as well, still available that would transition into the lunch. So if you're looking for a little bit different types of foods, it was there. But one of my most favorite memorable items from the breakfast on the seashore, and I actually had the pleasure of having a different one of these every single day, was these little skillet dishes. And we'll post a picture of what one looks like. So if you get a chance to try them, definitely check it out. I happen to really like them. They were new and different each and every day. And it was like a little hot skillet, just like a personalized skillet that had a little egg, maybe a little hash of some sort in there or some vegetables. It was really tasty, each version I had. And so I look forward to trying those again in the future as well. Oh, and then they also had um, breakfast empanadas, mm. which I had two different types on two different days, which I absolutely loved. And in regards to um, the breakfast, they were open in every single section. So if you guys know anything about MSC and their buffet layout, there's three different sections. Um, there's one in the aft. Um, they're, all, they're all connected. So one towards the aft um, in the middle and then the, the front. So there's three sections. They were all open um, for breakfast. And you can find milk, um, all different varieties of juices there, coffee, um, tea. If you're making, if you want to make tea, there was um, varieties of tea there. But yeah, it was it was great. The options were definitely endless, and it was definitely very clean. So let me add something because I just remembered, and I can't believe that I forgot this. My most favorite part about breakfast, hands down was and not even just breakfast it was open all the time 24 hours a day was their espresso latte cappuccino machines oh my goodness self-service machines mm -hmm. not like some of these other ships where you have to go to a bar and have a bartender or barista make it for you then you have to pay them for it no no this was free it was right next to the, the water and the juice and it takes maybe 60 seconds to make a cup of whatever you want and the best part about it is, is you can choose to add like extra shots of espresso or you can mix and match and become your own barista. I decided that one day I wanted to mix a cappuccino with an espresso and a latte. And I got to admit, it was fantastic. Had me crawling on the ceilings, but I tell you what, it was great just because I could do so whenever I want. So that was pretty cool. What do you think? Yeah. And, you know, I was actually down there getting coffee or, you know, this espresso at like five in the morning and they were already open. 
Um, I definitely highly recommend it. You know, we were down there all the time. We were teaching people um, how, how to use we the yeah. liked our coffee, how the machines was working. And um, yeah, so I think we taught a few people our secret um, coffee recipe. Yeah. And, you know, we'd like to thank Starbucks for influencing on that with uh, giving us, you know, triple shots of espresso in our coffees, you know. So we definitely had some help and influence there. And I got to admit, the quality of it was very good. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've been on other vessels and I haven't had nowhere near such quality. And so True. we really appreciate that. And MSC, if you happen to listen to this, please incorporate this on all of your ships. Yes, okay? <laughs> totally agree. So the next topic in the buffet is lunch. Um, so lunch was also opened in all three of their station and um, the, the variety was really good. Um, we were usually eating lunch pretty late. So, uh, you know, we would get just whatever, but usually it was pizza. Um, we're definitely pizza people. We um, like our pizza. All right, interjection here. I got to say it because you guys, if you know anything about MSCs, you're probably been waiting for this topic, the pizza. In my opinion, it is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I don't consider myself to be the best pizza connoisseur out there. No, because I haven't had some of the best, but has it been great and has it made our family happy? Absolutely. And I'm pretty darn certain it'll make your family happy as well. How I can confidently say that is because I was more than happy to eat pizza multiple times a day, probably way more than I should because it was that tasty to me. It was, you can come and go and grab a fresh hot slice at any time that you want. Plus they switch it up with mm -hmm. the different toppings. And, you know, it just seemed like it was one of those items that was always there, except for breakfast, of course, but I wouldn't even put it past them to have it available for breakfast. I think they did. I think there was breakfast More than pizza. likely, I could have swore I seen people with it, but at yeah. that point in time, I was just focused on coffee and, you know, breakfast type foods. You know, especially when you can get unlimited bacon. Oh, come on now. My focus is elsewhere. So, all right, back to lunch. All right. Another thing that people tend to really like about the lunch was their jucuterie selections. You can mm -hmm. get the cheeses, the meats, the olives. Oh, I love olives. And you had so many different varieties of it. And it was seemed endless, the different selections that they had with that type of stuff. That's right. where you can really tell the European side of the business really was shining is because, oh, oh, that stuff was fantastic. Yeah, I were adventurous eaters. And so the food on MSC was definitely on point. Um, you know, I I don't think there was anything that I, I really didn't like, so. Yeah, you know, and then they got things like a salad bar for people who want to eat healthy or you want to add some vegetables to that mix, which we did. And it's great. There are so many different varieties and selections and vegetables and even fruits, actually. We keep forgetting to mention the fruits right. because they made sure that they had all bases covered. So if you're a very healthy person, you will be a happy camper on this journey. They also do vegetarian. vegetarian. I found some vegetarian mm -hmm. menus. And then for classic American, you know, they had your hamburgers, your hot dogs, your French fries. I even saw chicken nuggets and chicken strips. So they pretty much do a very good job of covering all their bases and right. trying to make everyone happy. Mm -hmm. And I got to admit, I haven't really found anything. Well, I may have found a couple things where I wasn't a fan of, but that's to be expected. But for the most part, almost everything I tried was delicious. So dinner at the buffet, the variety at the buffet for dinner was endless. Um, yeah. Whether you wanted like carved, um, like roast beef, mm -hmm. they had that, they had chicken, they they had pretty much anything that you can think of, um, it was there. And uh, obviously the pizza was there. Um, and uh, there was just the variety is endless. I don't think I ate the same thing twice. No, Not neither did I. With the exception of pizza, I kept having pizza a lot because it was really, it was that good. Mm -hmm. And the great part about that is, is I kept having different types of pizza also. So it really kept me coming back. But I did notice they had fish on the menu. They had mm -hmm. vegetarian again, some good Indian dishes. I tried some of those. You know, uh, we've even found the classic 
hamburgers and hot dogs again for the people who are really into those things. So again, they went above and beyond to try to cater to everybody and everybody's taste buds. Yep, and they are open at all three of their stations. Um, so that kind of leads us into late night um, dining at the buffet. So late night at the buffet, um, they actually closed down the the two, the one at all the way in the aft and the one in the front. So they only have the one in the middle open. Um, the variety is a little bit um, smaller because they're just catering to more of like a late night um, crowd. So there was always pizza, there was um, salad involved. Uh, but you know, we didn't really look at the late night food too too much because we honed in for the pizza grabbed it and left yeah again something quick and easy but it was always there so it was always delicious especially after kind of partying all night being able to swing by and grab a quick glass of water and hey there's another slice of pizza might as well grab it and that's exactly what we did now one thing i did notice on all of the times uh, not, I won't say all of the times, I'll say for lunch and for dinner specifically, they had dessert on mm -hmm. each one of those times. And I noticed there was no dessert in the morning, of course, because they have pastries and stuff. I guess you can call that like a breakfast dessert. Yeah. But either way, late night snacks. Don't go looking for cookies or any treats like that that I have found on some of the other carriers. So if you are looking for something like that, you may need to order that room service because it's more just quick snack items like we found like some chicken nuggets, french fries or some pizza and maybe a little bit of salad at that time. So it is slim pickings, but there is still something for you if you've been out partying or at the casino or whatever you have. Next up is the main dining experience. Definitely a, a must for every cruise experience. You got to try the main dining experience at least once mm -hmm. because let's put it there. It's an experience. Let the staff cater to you. You know, like Disney always says, be our guest. Same thing on a cruise ship. Be their guest and let them treat you. This is an area where you can dress up if you want to, which a lot of people do. They get dressed up, you know, in the... The, the jackets and the dresses and are looking really dolled up. But then it's also okay to show up in a t-shirt and shorts and flip-flops too, if that's your thing. But um, definitely check with the dress code because I've heard that there are times when you actually do have to um, wear certain things. Mm, good point. Um, I don't think they're dress code is that lax. Um, I believe that you, you do have to dress up a little bit. Um, I know there are people who go in there and are not dressed up at all, but I believe they do want you to look somewhat decent. So definitely no bathing suits or, you know, looking like you just um, got off of the beach. Um, they, they do want you to look a little presentable. Sun's out, guns out. Nah, not a dinner, please. Put on a, at least a sleeve, <laughs> please. So, and also make sure... I, I like to do this. Bring a few bucks with you guys. Tip your waiters and waitresses. If they're really good to you and they're providing good service to you, please, please, please take care of them because you will have these waiters and waitresses your entire time. So if you do main dining each night of your trip, you're going to have these same staff serving you every single night. So they will remember you. Yeah, they so, know you by name too. So. Oh, yeah. And that leads me to the best part about our main dining experiences. Our waiter and waitress, they were very good, very attentive. Mm -hmm. They even remembered our orders. Priscilla, you know, she just really wanted to go big one night and have two shrimp cocktails for an appetizer. Well, our main dining guide remembered that last time. And when we sat down, she didn't even order it. He brought her one just as a little thank you, little smile and said, here, I know you like it. And mm -hmm. he brought us next one. Now I like him too. I was sharing it with her. So, but yeah, shrimp cocktails a must on a trip. Um, they had all kinds of other fantastic things on there. For example, night one, what did we have? We had the um, New York strip steak. Oh yeah. It was really, really good. Yeah. It was definitely, um, I really enjoyed it and we don't eat, you know, steak too often and they cooked it just right cooked the way perfection. I liked it. Um, yeah. They cooked it to death for me, which I really appreciated. 
And I like mine a little bit more flavor in mine, a little bit more juice. So they cook mine perfectly for me as well. Mm -hmm. So again, if they're paying attention to you, they're taking care of you and they get your orders right, what more could you ask for? So. Yeah, and you know, there there's a lot of rumors out there of the main dining, it taking a long time. We were in and out probably within an hour, hour, hour 10 minutes yeah. um, at most. All right, so last up is the specialty dining. So we have had some fantastic experiences on the seashore. For example, we've had experience at Ola Tacos, which was phenomenal. I am looking forward to going back to this place again and again and again. I really wish this place was on other vessels as well. And if they're listening, hopefully they'll incorporate that. But let me say, the value you get from this place is great. It is an additional charge, of course. Mm -hmm. It is, I believe, what, $17.99 or $17, something like that per person. It is, um, it's an a la carte uh, restaurant and it is also an all you can eat yeah. restaurant. So um, the a la carte, you know, per item, it was definitely pretty cheap, but the all you can eat was $17. And definitely worth it. Yeah, it is definitely worth it. We were there um, one day for a late lunch and we tackled the <laughs> all you can eat. Um, and I'm pretty sure they'll probably never let us back in Hola Taco because <laughs> we, we destroyed yeah, the all you can eat. We can get down on some tacos. Let's yeah. just be honest up there. And, you know, next time we'll get some good photos and we'll, we'll document it a little bit better for you folks. This was kind of a learning curve this time around, so we didn't get as much information as we'd like for this video. But I tell you what, there wasn't one taco on that menu that I tried that I did not thoroughly enjoy. And we ordered every single taco that was on the menu. Um, there was like 10, or 10, well, I can't, maybe like seven or eight different ones. Um, I got five, he got five. We got, you know, two orders of chips and salsa, two burritos, <laughs> two desserts. Um, and everything was fantastic. Yeah, it was delicious. I got it. I'm looking forward to trying that experience again. And I found a few favorite tacos. And again, next time I'll post some pictures for you guys and let you know specifically which one those were. Yeah. So, all right. Next up is a restaurant that we had reservations for a couple of times, but we backed out for one because we got excited about the buffet or we wanted to go spend time at the pool or whatever it was. But we missed out on the Butcher's Cut Steakhouse. Mm -hmm. I've heard great things about this, and I've also heard some not so great things about this. So I look forward to giving you guys truth in the future about this, but that is an option for you guys. It is a bit pricey of, of a menu. I think it was maybe, what, $60 a person or something like that? No, I think, well, I think it was more than that. Like you can, I think it's like $90. Per person? Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Yeah. So, but, from if you're looking for a steak experience, steakhouse experience for uh, a nice three course meal again, that is definitely on our next to do list. And so again, next time we'll provide you with a little bit more details and we'll get some good pictures for you guys. And if you like sushi, um, they do have a all you can eat sushi. It's um, a Kato sushi. Um, I believe it's $39.99. You can do an all you can eat in it, and it's a conveyor belt. So the food um, comes like past you on this like little conveyor, and then you just pick it off and you pay um, per person about $39. Um, but they also have a teppanyaki restaurant on the seashore, also. That looked um, fun. Yeah, yeah, that looked like a lot of fun. I wish so we that's where done they that like one. cook in front of you, they throw food. Um, it's a lot of fun. I've, we've been to, you know, teppanyaki restaurants um, on shore, and it's definitely a must. It's, it's a fun place to be. Yeah, and one that we almost forgot is another restaurant called Ocean K, where they specialize in seafood. I heard a lot of great things about this. This seemed to be one of the more popular restaurants on the ship. And so, again, I look forward to documenting that one next time. Unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to get you information on this one, but I look forward to next time. If you guys have some comments about that one, please let us know. But from all the people that we talked to about their experience there, they loved it and will go back. So that is good enough for a review for me to go try something. And yeah, I look forward to doing it 
again. And right, so we just covered the five specialty restaurants on the MSC seashore. Definitely comment below what your favorite restaurant is and what we should try when we're on MSC seashore again. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> All right, so 